coming up in this read. So this isn't someone from your past. This is someone brand new. This is someone that you're getting to know. This is someone that you're learning. Can they be trusted or can they not be trusted? Capricorn, let's get into your April reading. Anything, any information that you need, you can find it in my description box and in my pinned comment below. If you're cross-watching for a Capricorn, then please switch over the roles because I could be speaking directly to you. And please do keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. You just take what resonates for you and you leave what doesn't for another Capricorn or cross-watcher. Okay. Please also do respect the tarot and approach it with patience, an open mind and without expectations. And finally, if you don't want to miss a video, then subscribe and stay notified. Okay, so Capricorn, the strongest energy around you for the month of April is Tsunami, a wake up call. Um, this is an interesting energy and I, I will be honest with you before I go any further with your read. Um, a lot of the reads this month for basically everybody have been super intense. Um, that there's, th there seems to be with the collective, at least with the, the spiritually awakened collective, that there is a lot of really intense but positive changes. Okay, and we're seeing the same thread in your read as well okay a wake-up call so if you can imagine this is kind of like the tower but it's um it's more leaning towards the positive side effects that a tower can provide which is obviously a new way of living a new way of thinking doing being just new um someone and we again we have seen this running thread in your reads a few times capricorn over the past couple of months someone's previous beliefs or misconceptions it could have been someone's misconceptions of you um have been called into question have been shaken to the core someone has had to kind of yeah reinvent themselves in in a lot of ways um this is someone realizing that the way that they were doing things before while that might have worked in the past it no longer works so it's going against tradition in a lot of ways because it's going against the, the way that things have always been done it's a wake-up call um someone can no longer deny the 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 facts of a situation um someone's having to face um perhaps seeing other individuals with a, a new perspective you know realizing that not everybody is for them and they're not for everyone and that that's okay um you're, you're never going to be able to control anyone other than how you react to certain things um I'm going to leave that one there because, again, it, it's that type of energy that I could really drone on for for a good few hours. But uh, I've only got about 20 minutes, half an hour for each read. So I've, I've covered the, the basics of that energy. I think we should move on. All right. So that being said, uh, we don't know what's going to come out of your tarot. OK, it could be correlating to what we've just seen or it could be something else entirely unrelated. Right. We just don't know. Also, any of the zodiacs that I mentioned, please do keep an open mind because they could be placements in your chart, someone else's chart, or they could be uh, character traits of someone as well. OK, Capricorn. You have the seven ones, that's Leo energy, the star, Aquarius. The fool is also Aquarius because it's ruled by Uranus. Uh, the eight of swords, that is Gemini with the eight of swords. The high priestess, moon. What else for Capricorn? Okay, the eight of wands, uh, that's come out off balance. So what I'm going to do... Just to remind myself that that one came out off balance, I'm just going to put like a little gem on that one to remind me that it was neither upright nor in reverse. 
and I, I can see what's going on. Um, wow. Are we are we playing this game again, Capricorn? I every time I do you read, you you do that to me. Um, it's because you literally want to know absolutely everything. And more often than not, your reads, they do tend to go on way past the allotted time. But let, let's, let's just going to go with, like, I'm smiling because it's typical Capricorn. Right, we're just going to go with it. Um, I'll read these ones out and then I'm going to put them back in the deck so that I can pull the rest of your cards. Right. Queen of Coins, Page of Wands, the Three of Wands, King of Cups, Temperance, Queen of Cups, the Moon, Three of Coins and the Five of Coins. Someone is afraid that they're not going to be accepted. Someone is very much concerned about being rejected. Um, it feels like it could be pertaining to a love romantic situation. Um, it's not that there's a low self-esteem. It's it's not about low self-esteem or anything like that. You're a Capricorn. You don't really do the whole low self-esteem thing. Um, th this is more about trust and vulnerability. You do not just give your trust away to anybody. Therefore, you will not just be vulnerable and open with just anybody. You are being asked to take a risk and to um, trust in how you feel and to 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 lead with that. OK, it, it is going to really make you feel out of your comfort zone. But again, that can actually be a really, really positive thing. This is all about facing your fear, uh, specifically for some of you when it comes down to love. So if you're in love with someone, um, finding, finding that thing within you to let someone know. And here's the thing. You don't necessarily have to say it. You can just show it. And if, if they're smart enough and if they're your equal, they will, they will cotton on. They, they will. Okay. So that being said, I do need to put those ones back in the deck and we are going to pull your final three. Else please for Capricorn. Okay. The Nine of Swords, Gemini energy, the devil, that's your major arcana, so you're showing up loud and proud in your own breed. Um, and death, scorpion energy. The energy at the bottom of the deck is the four of coins, that's more Capricorn. So, again, with, with you being in your comfort zone, yeah, four of cups, it's that fear of rejection again, isn't it? Four of coins, four of cups. Um, <clears throat> again, I need to stress it's not about low self-esteem, that this is about trust more than anything. Um, you you don't want or you're trying to avoid um, basically being made a fool out of because that has likely happened to you in the past. Um, someone made you feel really, really foolish because you took a chance on them. You didn't receive in return that the same amount of um, intimacy, the same amount of respect. And to be quite honest with you, they, they took you for a mug. They took you for a fool. Um, that is very much playing on someone's mind at the moment. Um, I'm really surprised to see this kind of energy in your read, Capricorn, because this isn't a love romantic read that this is a lifestyle read. So it's whatever the most important subject matter um, is going to be for you throughout the month of April. That's what's coming forward in the Tower read. This is clearly about emotions, clearly, and vulnerability and, and growing to trust someone enough to that point where you can um, 
again not so much say to them that you love them but more show them because you you're not the type that is very big and flashy you know like huge romantic gestures all that sort of thing that's not how you play that that's not how you do things you're not into um laughing and tossing your hair and you know skipping through a sunflower field that's that's not your language of love for you that is really icky and repulsive for to some of you your language of love is very much about being practical and showing someone that you love them rather than just saying it because anybody can just say anything but the ones who genuinely mean it are the ones who can put the action behind the words and that is Capricorn that's what Capricorn does um, now the, the interesting thing eight of swords the high priestess and then the eight of wands are coming out off balance Capricorn either you or someone that you're dealing with is in their head trying to figure out they're trying to use their intuition as to whether or not they should communicate that's why the ace of uh, the eight why did i say that was the ace a brand new beginning so this isn't someone from your past this is someone brand new this is someone that you're getting to know this is someone that you're learning can they be trusted or can they not be trusted with that coming out off balance no one has yet made that decision on reaching out you know striking up a conversation saying what's on their mind specifically with the eight of swords this reading is for someone who has got a lot on their mind and they've got a lot to say they just don't know how to say it seven of wands to start and the fool I mean what more can I say Capricorn you're trying to avoid drama you're trying to avoid being dragged into a situation that is not going to be to your benefit so that would indicate that you're unclear or someone else is unclear about your situation let's have a look why the seven of wands please for Capricorn someone's quite funny as well with the combination of the start and the fool um someone someone's got a, an amazing sense of humor um a little bit childish at times i'm getting with that fool energy but nothing nothing that's like a, a deal breaker it's just that sort of um a different outlook on life Tell me about the seven of wands. We have one more, please. The chariot, Cancerian energy. Well, the Empress in reverse and justice. Okay, Empress in reverse and justice. Tell me about the Empress reversed, please. Thank you. The star. Hmm. Someone feels like they're out of the loop when it pertains to information. There could also be Empress Reverse, Star Justice. This could also be um, someone being cautious of being someone else's rebound because there, there's a breakup here someone's going through a breakup and someone else is wondering are they over that yet are, are they over their ex yet are they over whatever emotional torment that they've been through are they are they at that space within themselves where they could hold a healthy relationship Hmm. That could explain why you or someone else is being super, super cautious. That could explain it. 
Uh, why the Nine of Swords, please? Someone's, um, there's obsessive thinking here that's keeping someone awake at night with the Nine of Swords and the Devil. It could be. So the Nine of Swords is the Three of Coins in reverse. Um, that's like something not progressing in the way that it should be. Tell me more about that. Thank you. The Seven of Cups. It's causing confusion. It's also come out off balance. So I think someone's realised exactly who it is that they want or the type of person that they want in their life. Because we, we've got Someone who did keep their options open is no longer keeping their options open because now they've got like a laser focus on someone or something else. Clarify the devil. Thank you. Strength. That's also come out off balance. So again, trust issues. Someone doesn't know if another individual can be trusted. See, I'm not really seeing any evidence of the specific individual that, that you could be thinking about or that could be thinking about you. I'm not seeing any evidence that they have broken your trust. I'm seeing a lot of evidence of in the past, somebody was made to look like a fool because they were vulnerable. What I'm seeing is an individual, either you or someone else that you're dealing with, is trying to come to terms with the fact that not everybody is going to be out specifically to hurt you. Tell me more about death, please, for Capcom. Why is this here? Thank you. The five of coins and the two of swords. Five of Coins and Two of Swords. Hmm. Why the Five of Coins? Thank you. Three of Wands. Okay, so someone felt um, directionless. I mean, we've got rapid growth, abundance and expansion with the Three of Wands. But then it's to clarify the Five of Coins. So someone felt like they were being possibly backed into a corner. That that could well be you, Capricorn. You might have felt like you were being emotionally backed into a corner. Certain things that you weren't quite ready to say or quite ready to take action on. Because this... This is either the end of a situation or a situation transforming. It just depends on your perspective. Judgment. A second chance. So it's possible, Capricorn, that someone felt like they couldn't give you what you were needing or what you deserved, or vice versa. Some of you might have felt like you couldn't give to someone what, what they needed or deserved. Possibly. Okay. And under there is the Queen of Coins, Capricorn energy. Stability. Abundance, security as well. It's like someone had to find that security within themselves. Okay. Have a healing message, please, for Capricorn. Ooh. Wow. A leap of faith. So that's the full energy again, and gratitude and appreciation. So number 22 and 46. So that could be someone's ages. Could be. It doesn't have to be. They could just be significant in other ways. Let's take a look. Leap of faith, number 22. 
see this as a chance to create something wonderful. You're in a transition time where you need to draw on your faith, intuition and knowledge to take the leap. You will not fail. You have a safety net of support in place. You'll overcome your fear and find a beautiful outcome is on the horizon. This leap of faith is the best course of action at this time. If you do make a mistake, then you have the ability to try again and learn from what didn't work the first time. All signs indicate that if you just trust, you will succeed. Jump head first into the void of the unknown. Even if you eventually fall, for a while you will actually saw so again with that vulnerability someone is really afraid to be hurt or to be hurt again and so it's like someone's almost got this obsessive uh way of thinking where it's like I know what I want I know what I love and I know what I deserve but I'm not going to go for it in case I get hurt well, that way of thinking is just is is just gonna keep you um, stuck. So, from what I can see, whoever it was that that was feeling like they're being backed into a corner, I feel like they're backing themselves into a corner. And then you've got number forty six. Right, and gratitude and appreciation. Recognize the good qualities in others and openly share your gratitude with them. Write notes of thanks to those who have helped. If someone deserves acknowledgement, then take the time to let a superior or a colleague know so that they can receive the recognition that they deserve. Nature is continually sharing its beauty for us to appreciate. Beholding a rainbow is a gift, and when we encounter a rainbow's beauty, Beauty, it is the perfect time to be grateful for all of the gifts in our lives. It is important to generate the positive flow of thankfulness that can bring joy into someone else's life. By doing so, you will not only decrease your own stress, but you will also generate the feeling of goodwill and love in your life. So you are loved and appreciated Capricorn. You really, really are. And, and someone is wanting to... Um, show to you by speaking your love language through doing things that are practical for you as to how much they, they really genuinely do love and appreciate you it's beautiful what else please for capricorn Hmm. Today everything is unfolding perfectly according to a greater plan. Wow. So I'm getting the sensation, Capricorn, that the universe has got a lot of beautiful, pleasant surprises in store for you. Else, please, for Capricorn. <laughs> I love this one. Recharge your batteries, you piece of shit. <laughs> the somewhat intense squiddle of self-care. Self-care is super important in case you didn't know. Life will feel as intense as this squiddle if you don't do it. No half-assed attempts either. Give it your all. Mm. Yep. So it, it's time for you to rest. It's time for you to stop worrying um, and, and to just be you know just be wow <laughs> really beautiful message there capricorn so that is what i have for you if you would like to book a private reading that is more catered towards your specific needs then the link to do so can be found in my pinned comment and in my description box below if you don't like clicking on links it's not a problem you can just visit phoenixkiataro.com and place your book in there okay thank you so much to everybody who has liked shared subscribed and supported my channel it really genuinely does help me to get the messages out thank you so much for watching and we shall speak again soon bye